In this video, I'm going to walk through the differences between leads, accounts, contacts, and opportunities. So this is actually a really common question I get from people who are new to Salesforce, but also people who've been using Salesforce for a long time. It's not always clear how contacts and leads are different or how leads and opportunities are, are different. And so these are some of the core objects within Salesforce. So it's important to understand the differences between them and how they relate to each other. So let's start with accounts and contacts here. So accounts and contacts makes up your core database. So this is data that you wanna make sure is as good as it possibly can be. You want it to be as clean as possible. You want the highest quality data. For the long term, this is where your customers are going to reside. Now, an account is a company, it's an organization. So you might have your customers under accounts, but you also might have uh, accounts for partners that you work with, or maybe vendors. And then within accounts, you have contacts. And so contacts are those individual people that work or are part of the different organizations. So you'll have individual customers at a customer company uh, underneath in an in account. Um, same thing with a, with a partner, or say you're working with a PR firm. The firm itself will be the account, and then contacts within that account will be those individual people at the PR firm that you work with. So uh, it's just good to remember that with accounts and contacts, this is your core database. You want this data to be as good as it possibly can be. Uh, so that leaves the question of, okay, what are leads? So leads is a preliminary record. So a lead is something um, that has information about a person or a little bit of information about a company, uh, but you don't know yet if it's high quality. And so with a lead record, you can process that lead uh, and then ultimately you're gonna do one of two things with it. You'll either convert it into an account and a contact, or you're gonna disqualify it. You'll close it here um, or unqualify it. It's Maybe it's not a good fit for your business or perhaps um, it's just bad data. So the reason why we have a lead, uh, a form to lead or web to form, excuse me, a web to lead form from Salesforce is because you typically don't want to take some uh, random data that's been entered onto your website and create a contact out of it. If somebody fills out a form on your website, you don't know if it's quality data yet. It could just be a bot, or it could be somebody who's confused and actually isn't a good prospect for your business at all. So that's why the lead object exists. You have this uh, preliminary step where you can validate the data and hopefully get this person on the phone uh, and then eventually you know, convert them to an account and a contact. So when you convert them, you also have the option of creating an opportunity at that point in time. An opportunity is a way of tracking potential revenue for your business. So an opportunity is always gonna be related to an account and you can also relate it to contacts if you choose. And so an opportunity is a potential deal and that's why you can have multiple opportunities related to just a single account because it's possible that you sell them something uh, initially but then there's an upsell opportunity down the road. There's, uh, there's a chance of future deals. Uh, so opportunities is where you're going to track your deals and all the data related to that. Usually it's time specific. Accounts and contacts are your core database where you want to have high quality information about partners or customers or vendors. And leads is a transitional record um, that will either convert into an account and a contact or become disqualified. And the lead exists uh, to help you qualify and also to help you preserve the quality of the data in your accounts and contacts. Hope that helps.